back to our channel. We are so happy to have you here and we are so excited because we have a special meal planned. I am going to show you guys how we make shrimp fried rice. Yes, you heard that right. Shrimp fried rice and we're gonna do it the Crockett way. Now, I don't know if you guys have had trouble with shrimp fried rice, as I have done in the past. It just never seems to come out right. Either it's the eggs are too mushy or the rice is not right. It's just all kinds of issues. So that's what I'm gonna show you guys today. And I am actually going to show you guys step by step how we do it. All right guys, let's go ahead and get into it. To start this recipe, we're going to be using four cups of rice. In this video, I will be using jasmine rice. Now you're welcome to use whatever rice you have on hand. Now you want to make sure that you wash the rice up to three to four times to get rid of as much of the starch that's on the rice as possible. thoroughly rinsing the rice, you'll see here that I'm transferring it over to a metal strainer to get rid of as much of the water as possible. Now it's very important that you not skip this step. Afterwards, you're going to set that to the side and add about one and a half cups of chicken stock. Now chicken stock is very bland, so I like to add my own seasonings to it. So I'm adding here onion powder, garlic powder, onion flakes parsley flakes, and black pepper. Give that a nice whisk and set to the side. The next step in this recipe is I'm going to chop up one half of a large onion. So now that I have my single burner electric portable stove, I'm gonna grab a large pot or a Dutch oven and I'm gonna add about two tablespoons of olive oil. Now I'm gonna add those chopped onions that I chopped up earlier. You can imagine the aroma that's filling my house with the smell of cooked onion. I'm gonna cook these until they're just about tender or semi-translucent. Next, I'm gonna add about two tablespoons of curry powder and mix it well with the onions. After the curry powder and onions are mixed well, I'm going to adjust the burner settings down to low, and then I'm going to add the dried rice. Before toasting the rice for about three to four minutes, I'm going to make sure that I mix the rice really well until every single grain is coated with curry powder. Now I know some of you are probably wondering, what the heck is toasting rice? Well, toasting rice is a method of cooking your rice without water for about three to four minutes to give it this nice and fluffy consistency. The rice even feels lighter as I stir it. To the rice, we're gonna add about three tablespoons of soy sauce. The next thing we're gonna to add to the rice is that one and a half cup of chicken stock that I seasoned earlier. Then we're gonna mix that really well. And next we're gonna add about two cups of water. Mix that really well. Look how beautiful that looks. Give it a nice little taste, perfect. Then we're gonna go ahead and let it simmer for about 20 to 25 minutes on medium low heat. Now it's time to prepare the shrimp. And I got these shrimp from Walmart. They were about $10 a pack. I got two packages, which is two pounds. And these are the raw, super colossal, peeled, deveined tail on shrimp. I like these because if you notice here, you can tell where it's been deveined. And I like that look of the shrimp when they're like this. It's absolutely the best type of shrimp for me to cook. And it's even better when you're cooking shrimp fried rice. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish peeling these shrimp and then I will be right back with you guys. After the rice has simmered for about 10 minutes, I like to get some parchment paper and just add to the pan 
to keep all of the moisture inside so that the rice can cook fully and evenly. This is a method that I use whenever I cook rice um, with other meals. It's like very, very efficient for me. Now that I have all of the shrimp completely peeled, I'm going to rinse them just to get rid of any unwanted substances or particles on the shrimp that I don't want in my food. And I'm using a strainer here just to make the rinsing a lot easier for myself. So now that I have the shrimp rinsed and strained, I'm gonna go ahead and season them. And here I'm using salt, garlic powder, onion powder, black pepper, and parsley flakes. And I'm gonna go ahead and mix all those ingredients with the shrimp. Now let's see how the rice is doing. Now, if you look here, look at all that moisture on the top of the parchment paper. It just shows you that the moisture is locked in. And look at this rice, guys. It is absolutely perfect. I let this rice simmer for about 20 to 25 minutes, and it is absolutely perfect, and it smells so good. Next, I'm using about eight to 10 stalks of scallions, and I like to cut the tail off and just chop them up really nice. And then after we have those chopped up, I'm just gonna put them in a bowl and set them to the side. Next, I'm just gonna cut a piece off of my ginger root, and I'm gonna cut off all of the skin. And here, I'm using my potato cutter just to make cutting easy. I'll then use the fine side of my cheese and vegetable grater to grate my ginger. Here I'll grate about two tablespoons of ginger. If you're anything like me, just the smell of ginger is such a true delight. I absolutely love it. So we got our two tablespoons of ginger. Let's move on. Now I'm going to go ahead and grab my wok. I love this wok because it comes with a lid. It's non-stick. And if you're interested in purchasing this, I got this from Macy's and I believe it was on sale for about 40 bucks. It is a wonderful thing to cook with because you can cook just about anything in this wok. Now I'm going to add about two to three tablespoons of olive oil. Once the olive oil is nice and hot, we're gonna go ahead and add our shrimp. And I'm gonna cook the shrimp on each side, and after they're cooked on each side, I'm gonna give it a nice stir. I'm going to let the shrimp cook for about three to four minutes on each side, and you can already see the shrimp are beginning to turn color. They get this nice orangish pinkish color, and it smells absolutely amazing, guys. Look how good those shrimp look. You see why I like this type of shrimp? Now that the shrimp are all done, I'm going to go ahead and remove them from the pan and add them to a glass container where I'm gonna let them set aside until I am ready for them. Oh my goodness, look at that, guys. So after we have set the shrimp aside, we're gonna go ahead and prepare the eggs. So here, I'm taking three eggs and I'm gonna go ahead and mix these really, really well. Now, because my family and I, we love eggs, I'm gonna add an additional egg. So for this recipe, we're gonna be using four eggs. Next, I'm gonna get the olive oil, add about one tablespoon of olive oil, and then I'm gonna add about one cup of shredded carrots into the pan, and we're gonna just cook these really well. After that, we're gonna add about one cup of frozen peas, and we're gonna mix this nice and well and let the peas cook until they're no longer frozen and nice and soft. Then I'm gonna add the lid and let the peas and carrots simmer for about five to 10 minutes. After they've simmered for about five to 10 minutes, I'm gonna go ahead and add the scallions. And then I'm gonna add the ginger and mix that up really, really well. Now we're gonna go ahead and set the peas and carrots to the side and we're gonna add the egg to one side of the pan. And we're gonna let that cook really well until it's nice and formed. And then we're just gonna mix the egg, the peas and the carrots together. Look at that sight, guys. Oh, the aroma is amazing. Now we're gonna go ahead and add the cooked rice that we cooked earlier. And we're gonna mix that up really well in the pan. Look at that golden goodness, oh my God. Now we're gonna add the shrimp, yes. Look at those shrimp, guys. 
This is our shrimp fried rice. Mmm. Sorry, y'all. I did not give y'all first bite. Ooh. Not you. Oh. <laughs> Here you go. Yay. Thank you. It is so good. It is. <laughs> That's our cameraman, Judah. Mm. It's so good. So good. Thank you guys so much for watching. We appreciate you taking the time to watch our videos. I really hope that you really enjoy this recipe that I have put together for you guys. And make sure you try it at home. It is absolutely delicious. You will not regret it and you will not want to go to another Chinese restaurant again once you make this at home. If you haven't done so already, please click that subscribe button. Become a family member of ours because we would love to have you. And be sure to hit that post notification bell so you will always be notified whenever we upload a new video. We upload at least twice a week, guys, so you don't want to miss that. So once again, thank you guys so much. We love you, and we will see you. Be safe, and God bless.